the people of Israel were exiles in the land of Persia. God punished them for their ongoing sin and disobedience and took away his protection from them. So the Persians came and destroyed the city of Jerusalem and took the Israelites as their slaves. One of these Israelite slaves was a man named Nehemiah. His job was to serve food to the king and to make sure it was safe to eat. Though most of the Israelites lived in Persia, there were a few that survived and were still left in the broken down Jerusalem. He missed Jerusalem and wanted to go back and help those people. Nehemiah could not stop thinking about and praying for Jerusalem. He was sad all the time. One day, while Nehemiah was before the king, the king said, Nehemiah, why are you so sad? Are you sick? Is something troubling you? Nehemiah couldn't hold it in any longer. O oh, king, live forever. My home country, my father's land, is in ruin. The king was concerned and offered to help Nehemiah. Nehemiah told the king that he wanted to go back to Jerusalem and rebuild it as well as the walls around it. So Nehemiah asked the king for building supplies. He also asked the king to write a letter that he could show to anyone on his journey back to Jerusalem. This letter bore the seal of the king and protected Nehemiah as he traveled back to Jerusalem. It was a long and dangerous journey, but Nehemiah was excited to go back. As they neared Jerusalem, they could see its ruins in the distance. The beautiful city of Jerusalem was all broken down, with no wall around it. Work began immediately. Nehemiah wasted no time and gathered all the men to help rebuild the wall. He assigned each group to their task, rebuilding sections of the walls, brick by brick. It was a big task that was going to take a long time. As Nehemiah and the men rebuilt the wall, many leaders from nearby countries tried to stop them. They threatened to kill the Israelites. Nehemiah prayed to God and did not stop working. Each day, they worked harder and harder, and the wall became stronger and stronger. After months of hard work and danger, the job was complete. There was singing, dancing, feasting, and a huge celebration. God was the one who deserved praise and glory for the finished job.